Hi, Bagaholics. Today we are enjoying the sun in the park and I wanted to share some Louis Vuitton pieces with you. And the first one will be Keepol, a Keepol 45 in Damier Infini leather. <laughs> Whenever I see a classic bag in more um, expensive leather, uh, the first question that I'm asking myself is whether I should buy this limited edition piece or um, whether I should go for a classic version in monogram in Dumbier Eban. And uh, well, apparently the choice is difficult because this piece is unique and uh, not too many bags uh, were made in this color and it's definitely very special but um, on the other hand the classic pieces are less expensive and um, the canvas is sometimes more sturdy and firm than the real leather so should i go for it or should i not when i first saw this keep all um, i definitely fell in love with the color because you rarely see a luggage piece in some bright uh, vivid colors like this uh, red and the hardware on this bag is very special and uh, if you take a look at the hardware it looks like a mate right and that's what i really love about this uh, dumb gear infinite collection so it looks more exquisite, more expensive, and uh, I, I really love when we compare it to a regular Kipol in Dumbier event or monogram. Next question is how firm is the leather? And I can tell you for a fact, it keeps the shape quite good. So you can see the bag and it's not stuffed. It looks like this. Um, the, the sh it's shaped nicely. Um, it may be a little sagging, uh, from the sides, like here, but uh, it happens with all the leather Damier Infinite key balls with times. However, I need to tell you that as this is a real leather, it's firm, it's nice, but uh, it does get a, a scratched uh, on corners. And the corners of this bag, as you might see, it's been used like several times only, but uh, the corners are already scratched and uh, well, it will be scratched on any color, not only red. Um, these were also released in black and black has all the issues that this uh, red bag has, apparently. When it comes to weight, um, this bag is lightweight, but I feel like a canvas bag would be lighter. So if a weight is a deciding factor for you, you probably might want to compare the uh, weight of these bags in the shop or just look it up on the Louis Vuitton website. I think they might have it. Do they have it? Leave a comment if they do. Overall, my opinion on this bag is like this. It looks classy. Uh, it looks fabulous, actually. And uh, I love um, vivid, bright colors. And uh, that's, uh, that's a bag that I absolutely love. Um, would I buy it at Louis Vuitton? Um, probably not. Probably not, because it's over $3,000 for a Kipo 45 and uh, that's a lot. For me, that's a lot and I would prefer a regular Kipo in uh, monogram or Damier Eban unless I'm buying it for love and uh, I purchase it for, for like nothing compared with the $3,000. But uh, if, you, if you can buy it for like 150 at least, then it's a very good price. And that's the price you might want to buy it from uh, my website, which is below. Now, another important question is the size. Because I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not really sure why they released the Keepol 45. I mean, there's definitely some logic because uh, they released Speedies in size 25, 30, 35, 40, and then they needed a larger bag, and that's not a speedy, right? It's much larger. So they released a different size uh, and a different bag and named it a Keepol. But um, to me, I really prefer 
either smaller size, I mean the Speedy, or the larger size of the key pole, which is 55, for example. Because with 55, you can take it to the airport, you can take it to the uh, hand luggage, and uh, it looks perfect under the seat in front of you. And uh, that's something um, that uh, has space for everything you need, like for a weekend, uh, if you're traveling uh, on a weekend somewhere, that will be a perfect bag. For me, this size is okay. And whenever I'm traveling to Europe, I can take a Keepole 45 with me and uh, it looks gorgeous. And it has space for um, almost everything I need. So I need to take another bag, like a Neverfull GM, for example, at least, but it should be a GM bag to uh, compensate for that five or 10 centimeters um, compared to a Kipo 55 that has space for everything. And I only can wear a, some kind of clutch, uh, right? With me on a travel. So overall, um, this bag is gorgeous and uh, if the price is not the retail price, I'd buy it in a heartbeat just to have a very... Uh, it just makes me smile. It's just a very bright piece in my luggage collection and, uh, and I love it. But uh, with the size, just uh, if you are not familiar with key poles and their sizing, I really recommend you to go to the LV store and uh, have a check which size is right for you because if you just buy it without knowing what it looks like, then you might be disappointed because um, this size is not for everyone and I really, really understand people who prefer keep old 55 or um, larger uh, or even 60, right? So the larger sizes of the keypad. Okay, that was it. And uh, if the video was useful, like it and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.